Okay, so I think at this point it's been like three years since I posted anything regarding this jetpack. And that is mostly due to the fact that I started building a tiny home. So, uh, with the 30th anniversary of the Rocketeer movie uh, happening recently, I would really like to uh, try and get this pack finished at this point. So, I am back at work on it. Uh, the last video basically just showed all the pieces that you got from the 3D printed kit. I have now gotten the majority of those pieces put together into this one one piece, which I'm pretty happy with. So, this is basically just going to be an update, and it will be followed by more as the pack starts to come together. So here's where we're at right now. Uh, this middle piece down here ended up being a huge pain. Uh, it needed a whole gob of sanding. Uh, the gaps right here were humongous and the pack would not go together correctly. So this section down here in the bottom, I had to sand a ton off of it in order to make the pack look the way it does now. And then of course, we had a lot of gaps and things in this area once I finally got it sanded down enough. So basically what I did is I took some adhesive caulk and I just smeared it in there to make it look smooth and give it a, a more finished look. Now the pack is far from done at this point. As you can see from the vents, uh, I've still got a lot of sanding to do here. And then in the sections where it was glued here, there is a little bit of a lip right here that's also going to need to be sanded. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. And uh, then this grill up here, that's going to need to be sanded as well. And I don't know if this is going to show up on camera or not, but we've got like a couple of little pimples, if you will, in this area here. And that's going to need to be sanded off. So at this point, um, the next step is just going to be a lot of sanding and get this thing ready to get painted. Now the grill up top I have not put in yet because, let me just show you here, I got this little fan off of eBay that's going to go in there for the engine fan. This did not come with the 3D printed kit, which is a little disappointing because it really should have the engine fan in there. So I bought this thing off of eBay for just a few bucks. It is a three and a half inch 10 blade fan. So for those of you that are going to try and follow my work on this project, that's what you want to look for. Uh, this is just a little aluminum fan and I'm going to paint it uh, with this right here, this, this uh, copper metallic finish. But I'm going to do everything in black gloss first because that makes the metallic paint pop quite a bit more. And then I got this really, really long bolt from Home Depot. So uh, my pack is not going to have any electronics, lights, moving parts, anything of the sort. I just want it to look nice. Um, obviously you can put a lot more work into it if you want to do those sorts of things, but I just want something basic that's going to look good in photos. So I went and got this big long bolt from Home Depot. And basically what I'm going to do is drill a little hole in the back of the pack here and then keep it in there with bolts and washers and then hopefully it will stick right off the front here uh, right behind this grill. I can't put that in though until I've got the rest of this painted. All this is going to be just painted one solid silver color other than a little black line here on both sides and then of course the tips is another color as well so I'll have those taped off but that's kind of where we're going with this right now so the next step is going to be getting this sanded down to make it look nice and then uh, this is going to need to be uh, smoothed out for the 3D print I've got a lot of uh, spots like that see if you can look at the back here like this section right here it's all like ridged and everything my plan right now is to use mud for drywall, get all that filled in there, and then sand it down and, and looking all pretty. So that's kind of where we're going here. And then when the sanding is done, I'll start painting it. So the next time you see this pack, um, I'm probably going to do one more update right before I paint it, just so that you can see uh, what I did with the sanding and uh, the mud and those sorts of things. And uh, then we're gonna then we're gonna paint it. I'm thinking about getting the harness from uh, South Beach Leather, and I'm just gonna bolt that to the back of the pack here. 
Now if I do that, I'm going to have to do that before I install the engines. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get up into the top section here. Now I know a lot of people that do this. What they do is they they do not seal this section right here. They make it a magnetic thing so that the cones can be pulled on and off the top whenever they want so they can reach inside and get at the electronics and such. I didn't want to do that because then you've, you're going to basically have a gap right here that's going to uh, be prevalent all the time. However, this is on the back so it's not going to show. So most people don't care about that. But again, since I'm not putting any uh, electronics or anything like that, this is just going to be a one-time thing, and then I shouldn't have to actually reach into the pack for anything else. So as soon as I get that fan in there, and this thing is painted, I'm going to put the, uh, the top grill on here, and then we'll, we'll be done. We'll never actually reach into the, the pack again. So. Anyway, that's where I'm going with this thing. I, I would like to say that I am very happy with the progress so far even though due to the errors in the 3D printing this has taken a lot more work than I feel that it should have. But I do feel we're moving in the right direction and I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking so far. It's actually looking like, like the jetpack from the film at this point which makes me very very happy. So, anyway, I hope to get back to you soon with another update on this and uh, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.